You don't want to... Why are you dramatic? Hmm. Why are you giving me vibes? I'm in Hollywood star now, so... Like... Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is the day seven in the Big Brother Night to Level Up season. And of course, I'm super excited that, you know, one week so far and the show has been amazing. So on this note, I'd like to welcome you back to my YouTube channel. If you're a returning subscriber or a new subscriber, I'd like to say a very big thank you. And if you're just joining for the very first time, thank you so much. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, follow the notification bell. So guess what, guys? We're about to have a ride of a lifetime. Now, last night, remember that the level one housemates had a pool party, right? While the level two housemates had a palo party. And why did they have a palo party? Because they lost out in the head of house game, right? So because, you know, the new head of house, Elo Swags won, it also covered the remaining of the housemates in this level. But for the second people in the level two that you all call the trenches, I don't know why they call them the trenches, uh, but for them, actually, you know, Big Brother had to just help them and play music for them because they had to like ask Big Brother and beg Big Brother that Baba, I beg, play music for us. At least so that when those guys are in the pool vibing and all of that, we will also have something to do in our own level. And that was how we went. And after all of that, they had this, you know, quite teamy truth or dare game. And, you know, for the first time, we saw Groovy and, of course, Beauty Kiss. Aww. Now, while this truth or dare was going on, little did we know that we're ever going to see Fina and Groovy Kiss because Fina was like in the kitchen area. And boom, they just went to bring Fina and asked her to kiss Groovy. And it happened. <laughs> Another one that we saw was a position of intimacy. You know, I don't want to use the word SEX, right? Between Groovy and Ilebaye. And literally, you needed to see the way Groovy carried Ilebaye. It was a standing position, guys. Ah. Now, one thing that caught my attention was when Amaka was dancing. Now, but prior to that time, before that time, she was in a conversation with someone. I can remember the person right now. And she was telling this person that she really wants to shake ships up in the house, right? And, you know, she probably had her eye for the shape going on between Groovy and Beauty. And remember the last season, we also had the likes of Beatrice and Angel, you know, having that kind of policy saying that, you know what, they want to shake up relationships and all of that. And, you know, Beatrice wasn't necessarily successful with that. She really could not shake any relationship up because, I mean, this relationship were, like, very strong. Stronger than her plan. You know what I'm talking about. But here is Amaka. Amaka is very outspoken. So far, so good in the last one week. She's literally popped up on the headlines of having to be in a fight with Fina, you know, having to be the one who wants to go and check the other houses and know what their strategic plan is and all of that. But here is she, right, saying that, you know what, I want to shake shifts in this house. And literally, what did she do? While the music was going on, she went in front of Groovy and started whining in his face. Now, it seems to me like the Breakfast 101 has started happening. And why do I say that? Remember that when this show started, the people we saw getting close, you know, closer and all of that, one of them was Brian and Daniela. And it felt like, you know, people were like, oh, nice. These guys look good together. Daniela is a very cool girl. She was feeling Brian's vibe and all of that. Remember that the first thing that they even exchanged you know, was their earrings, you know, and Daniela liked his earrings, Brian's earrings, and boom, they exchanged the earrings, you know, and that was when, you know, the viewers were already looking, okay, Brian and Daniela, even some of the housemen were looking at the fact that, okay, these guys, they're vibing together and all of that. And then, we began to see that Brian was also tilting towards Ilibaye, okay? And I don't think that this really sits well with Daniela, because, yeah, she's a quiet lady, she probably was not going to be part of that set of women who will literally go fight another woman because of a guy. So here is Daniela, you know, exchanging or returning the bracelet that Brian gave her earlier. Yeah, you don't want to... Why are you dramatic? Hmm. Why are you giving me vibes? I'm a Nollywood star now, so like... Now you could hear Daniela saying, now you're a Nollywood star now. I mean, what does she mean by him being a Nollywood star? That's like, you know, Nigerian actors, you know, that a lot of people are going after and all of that and here she returning the bracelet that you know brand gave to her but just so you know 
Maybe the reason why she's returning this bracelet is because Brian has also given a Levi a similar bracelet and she feels like if you, if you say I'm special, if you think I'm special, why would you have the same bracelet given to me, given to another person? Now, one thing that I liked that Brian had already done was the fact that he literally made it known to Daniela in a conversation that see, I just want to be friends. I'm not ready for anything commitment or serious in the house. So here's Brian saying, you know what? I know my boundaries. I do not want to lead you on, right? And of course, that's not sitting well with Daniela. But of course, Daniela had already said earlier on in the conversation with Ruby that there's somebody she's liking outside, right? But of course, if she was really feeling this guy, why would she give in? But at the same time, I think one of the reasons why she's not giving in is the fact that the same bracelet that she that Brian gave to her, you know, Brian also gave Levi something that looks like that. And she's just wondering, what's the difference between me and the Levi if you can give us the same bracelet? And whatever I'm feeling for you right now, I'd rather just kill it so that you can carry on with whoever you feel you want to be with. Still on Brian. Beauty and Brian were having a conversation, right? And here Beauty is telling Brian that you know what, she doesn't want to hurt Groovy. To be honest, I think my fear is... I'm afraid of hurting him. Not here. Here. Here, I'll never hurt him. Why doesn't Beauty want to hurt Groovy? She feels like, you know, in the house, she says she's never going to hurt Groovy in the house. But she's scared that when they get outside of the house, maybe because of the attention she's going to get. I mean, she's the top 43rd Miss Nigeria. She has guys who are probably on her cases and all of that. And she feels like Groovy might not fit into maybe the kind of level of guys that she's with or whatever it is. But here she's telling Brian that, you know what, I'm scared I'm going to hurt Groovy when we get outside of the house. Finally, in this jazz, there was a conversation or a friction that happened between Christy Yo and, of course, Beauty. Now, what was it about? Beauty and Cass, the married guy, were having a conversation in the dining area. Of course, Christy was seated there. Now, as they were having the conversation, Christy now contributed to the conversation, and that did not sit well with Beauty. So Beauty now faced her like, why are you contributing to the conversation? And you know, Christy also told her that, you know what? From day one, you've told me you don't like me, you do not like my vibes, and all of that. And that what did she say in this conversation that warranted, you know, Beauty's reaction towards her? I see, it's a freaking conversation. You were saying something, he was saying something. And I was saying to you that you're not getting this point. With a plain mind, I could have said that to say... Well, we'll literally get to see how this plays out in the long run, right? We'll get to see how this whole brewing frictions here and there will explode into fights. I'm hoping they can manage it and the whole show is not about fights here, fights there. And they can give us more content that we all signed up for. And that's it on this video. Thank you so much guys for watching. Please, if you're not subscribed to my channel, but hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bells, and guess what? You'll be notified whenever I post a video. Go on our social media platforms on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, and of course on TikTok and follow me at the Femi Daniel. And until next time I come with very soon, it's bye for now.